Time for another back-to-back. -back. 22 CRF 250RX versus 22 CRF 250R. I got a little short woods loop here. The usual one we're going to try. And let's see. Map I'm in on that. Okay, map one. That's a good map. That's a stock map. Let's see how we can do on the more woods focused RX with a little better setting on the suspension. Got this little short woods loop here. Man, the brakes are so good on these bikes, especially the front. In the RX, the suspension's a little softer than the R. And the, and the jetting, or not the jetting, but the, the fuel mapping just, just got a little more gentle roll on from low RPM. Just kind of lets you find traction better. And you got three maps. You got this map one, which is stock. Then you got map two, which is a little softer. And then map three is basically like map one on the R. So it feels a lot more jumpy. Oh, this thing, these R's are so agile. This thing still has that great seat foot peg to bar relationship and the great front end traction and steer feel the new chassis clutch pull is light it's a cable clutch but it's all right simple the pull is light it's funny i don't I'm not a big fan of the RX fuel tank, but I have to admit, once I get riding, I don't really notice it. It does carry the extra fuel up high. These bikes feel so free. Free revving. We don't have much engine braking for a four-stroke. Real light. So this R suspension just takes a little bit of the sharpness out of some of the chop and bumps. Two forty one. All right. Two forty one. Let's see what the mighty R does. See what map I have this one in. It's in map one. Let's go to map two, the woods map. All right, let's see what we can do on the R. Even in map two, it's got that kind of crisp, just a little, little more urgency in the rev. Definitely feel the stiffer fork springs. Just a stiffer valving, although I got the clickers opened up on, the, on my R a little bit here. I also have the few chassis bolts loosened a little, torqued down. Give this chassis a little more compliance. Boy, I love these. These engines are they're just so playful. Very controllable, but the agility is amazing on these bikes, especially the R. When you get to this, these skinny ergos, this thing kind of playful like a 125. The engine is free revving, very little engine braking. Clutch pull is light. Power just pulls from down.
down low. Just keeps on pulling real smooth. Easy to find power and traction or traction. This thing's, even in this tight stuff, it's just fun. It's really what, to me, these new Honda 250s are about is the fun factor. It's just awesome. That's kind of why we ride. It's, it's fun. But they got that part of this thing dialed. As they said in my one month review, spikes kind of got the basics right. Thirty-eight, two forty-two, a little bit quicker. So ours got this nice ergonomics. Love the tank. Definitely feel a little bit more stuff coming back through the through that suspension. And the engine's just got a little more crack, a little more bark to it. The X for off-road. What an awesome setting. It just has that smoother power. And yet, if you go to Map Three, you can make it feel like an R. It's got a kickstand. I like the eighteen-inch wheel. Gives it a little more absorption. Personally, I like this suspension better. I guess in my perfect world, I'll steal this suspension from my buddy Steve and put it on the R and I'll be good to go. Might even bolt on the kickstand. It's nice to have those, but fun back to back. 22 CRF 250s, R and RX, two thumbs up.